thank you for being here uh, and Adriana uh, we're here with our little angel Benny and our little beautiful Chinoy today we had an special project and we will make it a bandana a bandana you can use it for dog or cat the way we make it is very simple it's for beginnings and you can adjust the size it depends the size of your dog or your cat and today we will work in with this beautiful print as a monopoly print it's really nice it's cute and it's what we will work in today okay let's start we have here a square you can add an inch or two it depends the size this is a like an a small size because this one will be for shinobi and she's an a small cat but if you want doing making for a dog and maybe it's a bigger size you can go into uh, 11 or 12 inch here we had nine by nine the way we can make it is very simple. We had our square and we will fold their facing and after we try to make a triangle. I like using the iron. I will use it to press the lines to make it more easy. And very be careful at this moment because I have a shinobi with me. She is sleeping, and I know one. Maybe she wake up and you know I had the iron and it's a, it's hot. That's mean. We will try use it the less as possible. And in case she wake up, that's mean we have maybe had to suspend for a couple minutes. Okay. Now we have here the triangle. For beginning, you can just fold the two corners but inside, and you try to they be even in both sides. Here, for example, we have two inch. That's mean we can use the iron to press and we can use the pin as well if something we want to do and maybe we, we need to use it that one later. Here we're going to the another size of the bandana and we're going to two inch as well. A little bit less to make this one even okay we do the same we press now what we would do is see if it's the size we want if we did we did nine by nine and we folded to inch in each, each corner now we had the bandana in the neck of the dog or the cat will be around a and a half how i say if you want maybe a little more small in the neck because this is a bandana you can slip on in the collar you had for your for your pet that means we did uh, two initially and if we were going three and three here you can see this is three approximately one here we can see and I will really saw this one can be maybe uh, better better uh, size for Chinobi.
press little hard to keep the line. We did nine by nine and we folded three inch. After that, we folded in half right here, facing the right size of the fabric. And we we can use the the pin just to keep the fabric in the same position and we can see if the corners that are in the same same size. Okay? We can do this one one more time. This is step it's not necessary, it's just if you want it. And after that, we had to go to the sewing machine and sewing in the hem of the triangles. The, the color we use it for the thread can be the more similar to the colors we had in that way uh, they will look nicely and the contrast can be nice in that case we had a very light green and it's the color we will use now we had the fabric here and we're going to sew it This, this part that's useful if you can use the sewing machine in case you don't have one you can sew in by hand and can be really nice if you do a small stitches and all of them are even it's something can be really good as well okay how how you you can see sorry um, the stitches that are very similar with the color of the fabric that is a uh, uh, very light green after that, what we can do is just fold it in half, facing the right side against the right side, and we can put maybe one or two pins, and after that, we will start sewing the fabric here in the in around the hem in both sides but you will leave it open this part to be able to pass the collar or the cut always press your fabric with your hands to the fabric not had any weakening And you can make a double a stitch when you in the end. Okay. Now we can see the bandana is almost almost done. Always you remember to cut cut off this a small piece of the bandana uh, when you turn it we can um, do that easily and we don't have any crumb or anything here push with your finger the corner and bring the bandana facing the right size of the fabric how you see we have now 
a beautiful and cute bandana and I like to push this corner a little bit and we had the option to live in, in this way that looks pretty nice this is the color of Shinobi how we just can pass a slip on and that one can be good for hair I do like to do one more step and is to pass one more stitch here to keep the opening more easy to fit to hair okay let's do it If you're thinking that part of the opening is too big, you always can do a second second stitch, second stitch with the sewing machine, and leaving a little bit more small. This is really nice. I think so, Shinobi. We will be very pleased, and she will look so beautiful with her new bandana. This is the bandana, and the last step is pass the iron again. Now we pass one more time, and the last time <laughs> the iron with a lot of pression this is an, a small iron but this is really do the job okay now we have the final uh, product or how they will look and we will be ready to put the color this is the chinois and just pass slip on And we had a really nice bandana and now we close here later we put on hair and we had the bandana ready okay we hope so you enjoyed this tutorial it's a easy project for beginnings uh, thank you for sharing this time with us if you can please you can uh, subscribe get like and share with friends and family is a great help for us and we see you next week with more projects for cats and dogs blessings and see you soon Ya niño te está mirando y dice, oiga, pero Karen.